Joan Pearl Britton, also known as Auntie Facile of Hermitage St. Patrick, passed away on Sunday, 21st August 2022, at the age of 97. She was the sister of Yolande de Gale, aunt of many, adopted mother of Gillian Henry, caregivers Barbara Charles and Ashley Jeffrey, many cousins, other relatives and friends, including the de Gale, Date, Francis, George and Philbert families, the Seventh-day Adventist Church, Hermitage, and friends and neighbors of Hermitage and surrounding areas. The funeral service for the late Joan Pearl Britton, also known as Auntie Fassel of Hermitage St. Patrick, will take place on Wednesday, September 7th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Hermitage Seventh-day Adventist Church and interment will be at the Family Cemetery Hermitage. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lakpa Brothers Funeral Home. Fitzroy Ralph Seafroy Alexander, also known as Gaia of Duquesne St. Mark, passed away on Tuesday, August 16, 2022, at the age of 82. He was the uncle and adopted father of Dennis Ganes, also known as Santana, Shani and Delo Lewis, brother of Janatha Mitchell, Yvette Purcell and Kristin Alexander in Trinidad, Lenny, Lennox and Cuthbert Alexander, Matthew, also known as Aban, Danley Britton, also known as Marla in Grenada, Janet, Lima, Lyra, and Ken in Canada, brother-in-law of Elmer and Althea Alexander, and Alan Squizo Mitchell, uncle of many, caregivers, many other relatives and friends in Trinidad, Canada, the USA, the UK, and Grenada, including Dexter Narine, Vadlin Batiste, Dale Narine, Boyo, Clarice Charles, Fisher Batiste, the Alexander family of Concord, the Williams and Cato families of Chantimel, Duquesne and Industry, the Landor family of Cariacou, and friends and neighbors of Maoche, Nonpareil, Fountain, Redmud, and Diego Peace. The funeral of the late Fitzroy Ralph Seafroy Alexander, also known as Gaia of Duquesne St. Mark, will take place on Wednesday, September 7th at 1 p.m., Funeral service will be held at the Victoria Bible Holiness Church and interment will be at the Coast Guard Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Eno Williams, also known as Veronica Henry of Grand Roy St. John, who resided at De Blando St. Andrew, passed away on Monday 29th August 2022 at the age of 86. The funeral arrangements for the late Eno Williams, also known as Veronica Henry, of Grand Roy St. John, who resided at De Blando St. Andrew, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Charmaine Loris Samuel of La Femme St. David passed away on Thursday, 25th August 2022, at the age of 40. The funeral arrangements for the late Charmaine Loris Samuel of La Femme St. David will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. John Finbar Bowen, also known as Apo and Kenneth of St. Cloud St. Andrew, passed away on Sunday 28th August 2022 at the age of 76. The funeral arrangements for the late John Finber Bowen, also known as Apo and Kenneth of St. Cloud St. Andrew, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Peter Alexander, also known as Nash and Peter Cow of Tempe St. George, who resided at Balthazar St. Andrew, passed away on Tuesday, August 30th, 2022 at the age of 78. The funeral arrangements for the late Peter Alexander, also known as Nash and Peter Kao, of Tempe St. George, who resided at Balthazar St. Andrew, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Alexandrina Marichu, also known as Alexandrina Pascal, a resident of the Grand Aunt's Home for the Aged, Caliste St. George, Passed away on Thursday, 25th August 2022, at the age of 94. The funeral arrangements for the late Alexandrina Marichaud, also known as Alexandrina Pascal, 
A resident of the Grand Aunt's Home for the Aged, Caliste St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Gordon Raleigh Joseph, also known as Banks of Tivoli St. Andrew, died on Sunday, 28th August 2022, at the age of 54. The funeral arrangements for the late Gordon Raleigh Joseph, also known as Banks, of Tivoli St. Andrew, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Agnes Spear, née Noel, of Tempe St. George, passed away on Friday, 26th August 2022, at the age of 85. The funeral arrangements for the late Agnes Spear, née Noel, of Tempe St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. The management and staff of MTV extend deepest condolences to those of you whose loved ones have passed on. Thank you for watching. Fourteen and verse thirteen. Blessed is the day that died in the Lord. If your loved one died in the Lord, you have nothing to worry about. You could be confident that that one is in a better place. But what's about you who are left behind to mourn? What if you had been called? Were you ready? If you are not ready, you can be ready while you are alive. The word of God says it's appointed unto man once to die. But after this is the judgment. So you can live, and after death, you're going to live forever. You would not be disintegrated into nothing. You would be living forever. So while you are alive is the time to be ready to meet the Lord. I would like to encourage you to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ while you are still on the earth. There is no repentance after death. The time is now. The Lord Jesus Christ gave his life on the cross so that you can have life. And while you are living, it's the time to make it right with the Lord. Jonah said in, in Jonah chapter 4 and verse 3, yeah. it is better to die than to live. So the dead should be happy if they die in the Lord. If you are not sure that you are ready, if your time comes, you can be ready. You can be ready even at this very moment. If you'd only open your heart to receive the Lord Jesus Christ and pray this simple prayer. Just say, Lord Jesus, I am sad because my loved one has gone, but I am left behind and I want to be ready when my time comes. So I'm asking you to forgive me for my sins. I'm asking you to give me eternal life. Forgive me, cleanse me from all unrighteousness and save me so that when my time comes, I can live with you. I trust that you meant what you said. I trust that you believe the word of God. And as we end this program for you, with you, encouraging you, strengthening you in your time of sorrow, your preparation for your time should be now. God bless you, and see you next time. Amen. <laughs>